Have you ever built a Power Query only to later realize you needed to change something like a date or the value you're filtering on or even the file path for your source data? Well, there's a better way than going back and editing your query to update those. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can set up a parameter so that you can easily change values and then refresh your query based on those updated values. Let's take a look. So here's the setup. We have a Power Query here that loads data from various files. And so it's actually loading data from this folder path here. And if we take a look at our data set, we've got various different folders here for different years. And within each of those, we have various CSV files for each month. And each of these contain a similar data set for sales. So let's just open up one of those. And so here is our sales data for December, 2013. And let's just close this file. And so here this query is getting all those CSVs and combining the data into a single table and returning it in Excel. Now we've got this source path here set up as a parameter. So we can actually change the value here. And for example, we can change this to the 2015 folder and right click on our query and refresh it. And then Power Query is going to pull data from that 2015 folder and get all of the 2015 data. So let's take a look at how we can set this up. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up our Power Query that gets the data from a single folder. So if we head up to the Data tab, we're gonna to go to Get Data and From File. And here we've got the option to get data from a folder. And we're gonna to navigate to our main folder with all our subfolders. And here, let's just pick any one of these folders to start with. And we're gonna click on open. And here, what we wanna do is click on this little arrow next to the combine button. And we're gonna select combine and transform data. And let's press okay. And so here, Power Query has built out the transformation for us based on a sample file. And then it's built the query that combines all those files into a single data set. And here it's named it 2012. Let's just rename that to something more generic like data or sales data. And press enter. And now let's load this back into Excel. So in the Home tab, close and load, and then close and load to. And here we're gonna load this into a table and we're gonna choose an existing place in our worksheet. So right here and press OK. And there we go, we've got our data for 2012 in Excel. But this right now is static, so it's only gonna load data from the 2012 folder. So now what we're gonna do is set up the parameter that's gonna allow us to change the source of this query. So here we've got a folder path, and what we're gonna do is name this cell that contains our folder path. So up in the name box, we're gonna click in here and give it a name like folder path and press enter. And now this cell is named folder path. We're gonna go up to the data tab and we're gonna bring that value into Power Query. So if we click on from table slash range, that's going to bring that named cell into Power Query. So here we can see folder path is the query that we just created. And right now, 
it's creating that value as a column heading because it's automatically applied these steps over here. So we're just gonna delete those. You can see one of those steps is promote headers. If we delete that, now we just have a table with one column called column one and a single value here. And what we're gonna do is right click on this single value that has our folder path value in it and choose drill down. And now instead of a table with a single value in it, we have just the single value by itself. And we can use that now as a parameter in our other query. So first, I'm just gonna go to the home tab and we're gonna close and load this to and just create a connection. So we're not gonna load it back into Excel. We're just gonna select this option here, only create connection. Press OK. And now in our queries and connection pane, you can see that as a single value, it's got this ABC icon here. And we're gonna go back into our sales data query here, right click and edit that. And in our applied steps, you're gonna notice the first step says source. If we take a look at that up in the formula bar, that's where you're gonna see our folder path for 2012. And so here we've got a string value. You can see it's in quotation marks. We're just gonna delete all of that. And instead of a hard-coded value, we're gonna use this folder path query. And you're gonna see that it comes up in the IntelliSense here. And let's enter that. And right now nothing has changed. But if we go to the last step, we're gonna see that our data is coming from our 2013 CSV files. So let's go to the home tab and close and load this. And this data should update now to 2013. There we go. And so now we've got a Power Query based on this as a parameter. So we can now change this, 2014, and then right click on our query and refresh it. And all the files from our 2014 folder are now loaded. So that's how you can easily change the source data for your Power Queries based on a parameter value in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this. And we'll see you in the next one.